knowing that we have a system where we have skilled individuals who can help us understand what the most vulnerable members of society want to say has enabled us to listen to them and has enabled us to ensure that they have a voice, to ensure that no one is disenfranchised from our legal system. Everyone has the right to be heard when they find themselves involved with the justice system. But that can be a real challenge for people who have difficulty communicating. Uh, my job is just to help work out how it's best to ask those questions so okay. you can give the best bit of information that you can. My son has um, a diagnosis of Asperger's autism, which means that he cannot um, process the language like you and I would. Information needs to be broken down into smaller pieces for her to understand. In 2004, a new profession was created in the justice system, intermediaries. The role of the intermediaries is set out in law. Intermediaries facilitate communication with witnesses and defendants who have communication needs. Their primary function is to improve the quality of evidence and aid understanding between the court the advocate and the witness or defendant. An intermediary is not there to hold the hand of a witness or defendant. They're not there to be their friend or supporter. Intermediaries are independent of parties and owe their duty to the court. The court has to be certain that he's actually admitting guilt. He, he's got good communication in when he's actually speaking himself. Intermediaries come from a variety of professions, such as speech and language therapy, psychology and psychiatric care, teaching and social work. They undertake further training to become an intermediary. I work with adolescents, and that's through up into adults, uh, including older adults, and uh, it's people who have a history of mental health issues, or learning disability, or learning difficulties, and often a mixture. Of, of all of these. So recently I worked with a, a young person with autistic spectrum disorder and learning difficulties and, and a traumatised young person. Assessing those communication needs, developing a, a working relationship with her in conjunction with other supports that the uh, people around her, the police, the, the police officer and the social worker. Without that, I don't think she would have got to court at all. I tend to work with children and, and vulnerable adults if they've got like an autistic spectrum disorder or learning difficulties or language disorder. I worked with a young man who had a language disorder and speech sounds disorder and um, I know that he would not have been able to give his evidence because nobody could fully understand what he was saying but because I could see the pattern of his speech sounds when he was asked a question I was able to say word for word what the vulnerable witness was saying and I always obviously checked with him that I'd got it correct and that made it possible for the jury to hear and understand his information. I'll just write them down. The intermediary's role begins with a communication assessment. So I might look at things like can they give me a narrative account of something not associated with the offence, but what's their narrative account like? What kind of questions do they understand? Uh, what depth of information can they give me once I've asked them a question? What their attention skills are like, which gives me an indication as to how long they, the interview process can go on for. An intermediary may assist when someone is interviewed by the police, and if the case goes to trial, the intermediary may be involved in pre-trial preparations and the trial itself. I work with children who've got age-related communication, which basically means that they are vulnerable because of their age. My role is to intervene and ensure that the child does understand and is not agreeing with something just purely because um, it's been put to them in a suggestive or a leading manner. 
I've had uh, a couple of cases where the victims have been non-verbal, haven't been able to communicate verbally at all, um, and I don't think we'd have got any account from them without an intermediary. During interviews or a trial, the intermediary may intervene if there is miscommunication or the person becomes tired or distressed. When it became difficult for my son in the court, she had got to know him so well that actually she understood when he needed a break and it might have been 10 minutes after the last break but that was when the break needed to come. He was very good at stepping in and saying can you rephrase the question she doesn't understand or can you ask a different question. Intermediaries use a variety of aids to help vulnerable people to communicate about subjects they find difficult to manage anxiety and stress and to communicate non-verbally. So I've got a range of fidget objects here. Kids who maybe have an ADHD diagnosis would say having some sort of fidget object helps the brain work across that and just helps them be settled and sit with the, the anxiety. I've also got my take a break card. Sometimes people, it, it, can, it can just reassure people to say, look, if, if, if you're struggling, you don't even need to speak, you can just point. Um, a, a common one, very common for intermediaries, is body maps. Often, if it's, if it's a sexual offence, it can be very difficult to talk about the, uh, the specific parts of the body, and, and this allows people to point. Quite simple, but actually very, very effective and, and used often. My um, experience of, of intermediaries is that they have helped judges understand that there is no one-size-fits-all for all witnesses and defendants. And I think we're now far more alert to what an individual, in fact, needs and requires to give their best evidence. Before, I might have just thought, I can go and do the interview, see how I get on. Now, I, would, I wouldn't even consider doing that without having first considered an intermediary. If we didn't have an intermediary, what, what do you think? Just now. <laughs> no, she, she, she wouldn't have wanted to go through the interview process, she wouldn't have got, she wouldn't even contemplate going into the court. It gave my son the strength to find his own voice and be understood and be heard. <laughs>